Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom search results template for your WordPress site using Oxygen. Now, a search results template can easily be as simple as just displaying the results of a search, but in this video, we're going to go a step further and use Oxygen's conditions feature and the conditions API to register a condition that lets us show or hide sections depending on whether the search has any results or not. So to get started, let's jump to the back end and we're going to go ahead and install a plugin called Code Snippets. So we're going to click Add New and search for Code Snippets. And let's go ahead and install that and activate it once it's done installing. Now we're going to click Snippets under the name of the plugin there and we're going to add a new snippet and we're going to call this Search conditions. And I have some code prepared here. I'm going to grab and paste in, but I'll walk you through what it's doing and make sure it's available to you in the description of this video. So here we just have a safety wrapper making sure oxygen underscore VSV underscore register underscore condition exists before we try to do anything with oxygen's conditions API. Then we have the global oxy condition operators. Then we have the actual register condition function, which is where we name the condition, we add the options, true or false. We determine the operators that are available. And then we determine the callback function that's gonna handle this condition. And then we add a category for our condition. And down here we have our callback function. And within that function, we are grabbing the global WP underscore query variable. We're checking how many posts were found in the query. And then we're checking if our value is true and posts found is greater than zero, then we return true. Otherwise, if our value is false, in other words, we want to show this thing if there's no results and posts found equals zero, then we return true. And that's pretty much all there is to uh, this condition that we're registering. So we're just going to activate that snippet and that's going to make this condition available in Oxygen. Now to actually design our search results template, we need to go to Oxygen, Templates, and we're going to add a new template here. We're going to name it Search Results. And we're going to make sure it inherits the main template. And then under where does this template apply, we're going to click Other and check the search results box. Now click publish to make sure this thing is all saved and ready to go. And now we can edit it with Oxygen and design our search results page. So here we are in the builder and we're gonna assume we wanna show one thing when there's no results and another thing when there are some results. So let's add two sections, one, and then we'll just duplicate that. And then let's go ahead and add our condition here to these sections. So this top one's gonna be shown uh, if there are no results. So we'll add our first condition, choose condition, find our search category, which is uh, what we just registered, has results equals uh, false. So we wanna show this if there are no results. Now on this other section, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna set the condition, add a condition, choose uh, has results from the search category, and then only show this if it does have results. Now in this bottom section, it's pretty simple. We just want to add uh, an easy post element with the default query, and it will show posts that uh, match the search term. And we might add a heading or something here above it uh, that says, let's switch it to an H2 and just say, uh, here are your results. Obviously you would want something a little more compelling than that on a real site, but for this demo that'll do. And let's just center everything here and add some padding under advanced size and spacing of 32 pixels below that heading. So this is what we'll see if our search has some results and the results will actually be shown in this easy posts element here. And we might wanna change the preset here to uh, maybe a list with the image on the left just to be more uh, search resulty looking. Uh, so we'll do that. And then up here is where we're going to um, do something a little more interesting. And we're going to assume the search had no results. And we're gonna say, uh, I'm sorry, there are no results. Perfect. And then we can add something like uh, some text that says, maybe check these posts out instead. 
Then we can add another easy post element. And we can do a uh, custom query and we can do post type, choose post, and then uh, let's change the count to something like three so that we're gonna show three posts, right? Uh, we can also, probably a better idea, um, we can go to uh, manual and let's do a manual query here. We're gonna do post underscore type equals post and posts per page equals three and no found rows equals true. That's gonna make sure we don't have pagination output and order by equals rand, okay? So that should give us a random set of posts each time we run this query. So if we apply that, you can see that we're getting random posts. Perfect, and then we're gonna to wanna to modify this a bit. We probably don't want the description or the, uh, the content down here below. So let's go back to our easy post templates, template PHP, and let's just remove the excerpt here and see how that looks. Perfect, so that's a little more simple and to the point considering the context that we're dealing with. So we'll go to this text element now and just add uh, some spacing below that. Now let's save that and just make sure our design looks how we want it to. Perfect. All right, let's jump to the front end and test this thing out. So this is gonna take us to uh, our recent posts page, but let's say we search for something that doesn't exist like spaghetti and search. I'm pretty sure there's no posts with anything related to spaghetti on here. And actually you can see that our, our template isn't working yet. And I'm actually glad this came up because this is an important part of templating in Oxygen. If we go back to the admin panel, we need to make sure that the template priority is high enough to override any other templates that might apply in the scenario where we want this one to apply. So we're gonna bump that up to 10. And now let's go back to the front end and refresh and we'll see our search results. So this is the template we just de designed and we're searching for spaghetti and there's nothing on our site that matches that term. So we get, uh, I'm sorry, but there are no results. Maybe check these posts out instead and we get some, uh, some suggestions here. Now let's make sure that it works when we actually search for something that exists. So we'll search for Dolor, which should be present in a lot of these since we used a post generator and search. And here are our results. So now we have not only a search results template, but also a smart contextual search result template that helps guide your users to content even if what they searched for doesn't exist on your site. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to create a search result template for your WordPress site using Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.